Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. I'm at Uplink 2014 and Qualcomm is all in on wearables. They announced an update to their Vuforia SDK and they are showing off a lot of different eyewear. So this is a company called ODG. This is their R6 glasses. And actually they have their R7 glasses over there. I use this, hold them up, yeah. That one is even cooler than this one because it comes with a Snapdragon 805 processor. So basically, that is like having a tablet on your face. A Snapdragon 805, what's in here is two 720p lenses, so transparent lenses. Uh, and the thing is that, that they're controlled uh, separately. So you can do cool things like uh, 3D cinema. Now, what can I see right now? Well, on this one I'm seeing a row of icons. And the way that I would control that is, I'll, I'll just take this off so it's easier for you to take a look at. There's a sensor up here. And so this would, I would scroll left to right here, and then there's actually a click. On the bottom, because this is just Android running on here, we have a back button, a menu button, and then here's the power button. Inside here would be the uh, battery, I think on both sides here. Actually, maybe this side, because this has the magnetic clamp. And this is a, I think it's a 1400 milliampere battery, but uh, there's more tech in here as well. On the front, we've got a two megapixel camera. Actually, is it a two megapixel camera? Not sure. It says, sorry, let me just refer to the spreadsheet here. 1300 milliampere battery and a five megapixel camera. So there's just so many things uh, packed into this, I had to double check. It does have an autofocus as well. So the, the neat thing is, like I wish, I wish that I could show you what's happening in there, but I don't think that you actually can see it. That's the problem with these type of uh, eyeglass worn uh, displays is that they're very hard to, uh, to video. But essentially what's going on, let's put this on. Um, I can scroll back and forth. There's a GoPro movie here that I can play. Right? And so it's, like, it's also 3D, it's like snowboarding. Uh, it looks very crisp and I've actually changed the transparency so that I can see through it. You can actually up it so it's almost, you know, not transparent at all. Like say you're in a dark room, this would be like an incredibly visual experience. Now, my field of vision uh, right now I'd say is about this big compared to the, the entire room. So I mean, it's, it's relatively, it's big enough. And if I go over here, there's another one. There's a panorama, right? And so it's 360. Uh, this has three uh, gyroscopes in it. So the data for, for sensing how you can look around and what you can see is actually really high. Uh, I mean, it, it's neat for like the idea of doing the virtual tour. I'm not sure how real world application driven that actually is, but we're starting to see some, some neat things come out of that. Now, this one is the R6, available end of this year in a dual core processor. And then over here we have the R7, which will be available uh, next year, Q2, uh, with the Snapdragon 805 processor, like I mentioned. Now, this is like, for reals, man. Like, this one's like, oh, I'm a dual core. I can be made of plastic. And this one's like, I have a Snapdragon 805. I have to have metal on the top for heat sink and venting. <laughs> it's like, seriously, like, this is a tablet in here. This was a 1400 milliampere battery. There's a, a finger sensor here on the top, like I mentioned. Again, they have the back buttons. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we take a look at the optics inside, there's like, there's some serious stuff going on here. And my, my finger, that's hot. It's a little uncomfortable. If you live in a hot country, you may not want the sauna effect on your face, but I mean, it's cool uh, nevertheless. So we also wanted to talk about some of the other applications that they're showing. This is a augmented reality uh, map. It took me a minute. I had to kind of push the glasses high up on my head and then kind of like look at this. So like what I'm seeing is a giant mountain. Like I guess the topography is, is, is matched. But then there's like a tiny little white drone flying around. And then on the, the, the far side of my vision would be a, a map, like a, like a video map of what the drone is seeing of the topography in real time. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And so the other thing that uh, I can see is uh, if I just change the application, which I can do with the top button here. Okay, and so then uh, in, I'm seeing inside this box, and inside the box is a motorcycle. And I can turn the box, so I'm seeing the top of the motorcycle now. Uh, if I move it over here, I can see the end. So I can just move it around and see everything about it in real time, which is super cool. So those are some of the apps they're showing here. So didn't hear uh, what the pricing would be on something like this, but uh, we definitely know that it won't be a purchase uh, impulse buy. So this is the R7 by ODG. I'm Nicole Scott. 
for Mobile Geeks here at Uplink 2014, checking out what's new with Euphoria. <laughs> Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. I'm at Uplink 2014 and Qualcomm is all in on wearables. They announced an update to their Vuforia SDK and they are showing off a lot of different eyewear. So this is a company called ODG. This is their R6 glasses. And actually they have their R7 glasses over there. I use this, hold them up, yeah. That one is even cooler than this one because it comes with a Snapdragon 805 processor. So basically, that is like having a tablet on your face. Snapdragon 805, what's in here is two 720p lenses, so transparent lenses. Uh, and the thing is that, that they're controlled uh, separately. So you can do cool things like uh, 3D cinema. Now, what can I see right now? Well, on this one, I'm seeing a row of icons. And the way that I would control that is, I'll, I'll just take this off so it's easier for you to take a look at. There's a sensor up here. And so this would, I would scroll left to right here, and then there's actually a click on the